Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be week five of my Keto Weekly Weigh-In. And I'm gonna ask that everybody um, stay tuned to the end of this video because I have a challenge that I'd like to present you with and I would love it if everybody would participate. So, let's get started. This week uh, was an excellent week as well as last week. Um, but it was a great week because I reached a state of nutritional ketosis for the past two weeks. So uh, with that, I'm gonna preface the challenge with this. Um, let's talk about what is the your main goal as a person who does the ketogenic diet. What is your main goal? Your main goal is to reach and maintain a state of nutritional ketosis. What is nutritional ketosis? Nutritional ketosis is basically when our bodies switch from being sugar and carb burners to fat burners. And that's where we wanna be. We want our bodies to be fat burners. How does our body burn our fat? What happens is our bodies break down our fat into molecules called ketones. It then takes those ketone molecules and burns that as a source of energy. What does that mean for you and me? That means for you and me that that's the sweet spot for us on the ketogenic diet. It means our bodies will start to burn fat, trim down, and we will lose inches with very little effort on our part. That's what it means. There are plenty of non-scale victories while being in a state of nutritional ketosis. You'll notice that you're not as hungry as you once were before. You might sleep better. You might have less pain. All those things that people talk about, those non-scale victories, that normally happens when they're in a state of ketosis. How do I reach a state of nutritional ketosis? Every person is different, okay? As a nurse, I have patients who come into my clinic every day and they'll come to me and they'll ask me, well, does this, will this medication cause the side effect? I don't know, you have to try it. <laughs> really, that is the answer. I can't tell you that definitely this is gonna happen for you or it's not. Or definitely you gotta cut out this food and take this one instead for this, for you to reach nutritional ketosis. I can only tell you what worked for me. Okay, and weeks three and weeks four, I told you not only was I gonna go deep into the ketogenic diet, I also told you that I was gonna use my own body as an experiment of one, and that is what I've done. For me to reach a state of nutritional ketosis, I had to let go of all diet soda, I had to let, especially that Pepsi, I had to let go of the peanuts, as well as all artificial sugars. That what Those are what was keeping me from reaching a state of nutritional ketosis. For me, I can't have artificial sugar to reach a state of ketosis. I can't have diet soda to reach a state of nutritional ketosis. I can't eat an excessive amount of peanuts. For me, I gave, I helped my coworker hold my peanuts. And by the way, I did find two takers for that uh, diet Pepsi. I did. So <laughs> they're gone. So for me, I have to just stay away from those things. And I'm telling you that same week, I reached a state of nutritional ketosis and I was able to maintain it so far for two weeks and my body has trimmed down and the weight has just fallen off like you will not believe. I'm gonna show you some pictures of this week as well as my weekly weigh-in um, for the past two weeks. It's just gonna knock you off your socks. So therefore, what I'm doing this week is I'm asking everybody, this is the challenge that I'm gonna to present to you. I'm asking every single one of my subscribers and those who are not my subscribers, people who just stumbled upon this channel, I'm asking you, please try this week to reach a state of nutritional ketosis. And to do that, I'm trying to choose my words carefully, to do that, I want you to remember and to keep in mind, weight loss this week is not our goal. Our goal is to reach the state of nutritional ketosis. And I'll tell you why. When you reach that state of nutritional ketosis, the weight is automatically going to fall off and it's gonna fall off easier for you, okay? Now, how do you know if you're in a state of nutritional ketosis? Okay, that's a fair enough question. I have two ways that you can measure your ketones. The first is simple, and I'm quite sure many of you have had it or have seen it before. These are ketone test strips. I purchased these at Walgreens. This is a container of 50. And this container 50 was only $10. I also know that if you go to Walmart, 
you can get two containers of 50 for $10. So you'll have 100 test strips. And these are excellent test strips to me. Some people don't think that this is as accurate as the meter. But I also have the meter and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in a minute. These, these test strips use uh, urine analysis to give, you the, to give you your reading. Now it is not a numeretical reading that you're going to get. Instead, what you're going to get is a color-coded um, reading. You have from negative to trace, small, moderate, and you have two colors for large. And this is, once again, only $10. Your next um, type, your next way of measuring your ketones is through a meter. This here is a dual meter. Mine is from Nova Max Plus. This re meter was about $40, I think, $40 or $50 for this meter. It will measure, this particular one will measure your, um, your blood glucose as well as your ketones. However, the strips that you use to monitor your blood glucose and your ketones are different. They look different and you have to handle them different. Now, the blood glucose strips are pretty, you know, um, they can stand up to a little bit of, of bump, bump and, and moving around. Not the, uh, key, not the ketone strips. These, I'm not even going to take them out of the case because you can't even touch the little gold piece at the bottom or else you'll mess up the whole reading. So I'm just going to leave these in the case. Now the price point on this is um, $40 for 10 strips. So that's only for 10 days. So if you need 30 day supply, that's $120 a month for some ketone strips. That don't jive with my pocketbook, okay? So what I do, what jives with mine, are these $10 ketone strips. Now, what I have noticed is that when my ketone strips here are enlarged, my reading on this machine is normally around 1.5 to 2.0. So that means for me that if my ketone strips are high here, I know that my reading on my, uh, if my test strips are high, I know that my ketone meter is gonna be high. So then I can use this sparingly. I don't have to use my ketone strips every day. But if you can afford an extra $120 a month, if that's not a problem for you, you go ahead and get those ketone strips if you want to. But I'm just giving you two options to measure whether or not your ketones are high or not. I also know that my ketones are high. These are just some non-measurable ways for me to find out if my ketones are high or not. My, my hunger is down. My sleep I sleep better. I have more energy. Um, I notice that my clothes start to just fall off and they get thinner. I'm telling you, I was at work Friday and my clothes, my pants were just falling off me. That didn't happen two weeks ago. They, they, you know, I was trying to hold them up because I was too big. <laughs> now they were falling off as I was walking. They were just coming down. I had to keep pulling them up. And that's awesome. I have noticed that my body has trimmed down each and every single day since reaching a state of ketosis. This state here, I have done less work, minimal work. I don't, ex I didn't exercise at all this week. I wanted to see if I'm going to reach a state of nutritional ketosis, if my body's going to burn my own body fat, I want to see what my body's going to do on its own without any effort from me. And sure enough, my body was phenomenal. So next week I'm going to add some workouts in there because if I put more energy into it, that means my body's going to need more energy in order to help me maintain that or to perform those tasks. So therefore it's going to burn more fat. Okay. So with that, the, um, the challenge this week is I would like everybody to reach a state of nutritional ketosis and I want you to maintain that state of nutritional ketosis. Now, I also want you to leave comments in the comment section below telling me your scale and non-scale victories for this week as well as last week. And for those who actually do videos on YouTube, I'd like you to make a video about reaching a state of nutritional ketosis if that's something that you'd like to do. Because I think other people should really see what reaching this state of nutritional ketosis really does for your body. It is phenomenal. It is really phenomenal. It's amazing to see that your body can work for you. I will give you one caution though, okay? This is something you really need to keep in mind. When you're in a state of nutritional ketosis, it may take you a week, two weeks, it'll take some people who've never been on a ketogenic diet, paleo, Atkins, a month maybe to get into. 
So once you're in that state of nutritional ketosis, the long length of time it took for you to get in the state of nutritional ketosis, all it takes is one bite or the wrong, a one sip of the wrong thing to knock you out of nutritional ketosis. So be very mindful. For me, since I've reached that state of nutritional ketosis and that is now my goal to stay there, I do whatever it takes to keep myself there. So I say to myself, okay, my, my ketone strip tonight is kind of low. I, I need to eat more fat. I need to eat more bacon. I need to eat more something in order to get my, my, my ketones higher. That's what I do now and the weight still falls off. I monitor my ketones and I stop monitoring how much I weigh on that scale. And I've seen large um, changes, big changes, massive changes. So with that, everybody, I'm going to hope that you marinate on that in your brain. <laughs> and I hope that you do um, join in on this challenge with me. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to show you now what I weigh, um, the, my current pictures compared to last week's pictures. Um, and yeah, the, as well as I also added in my measurements. Um, and I bought a new scale, which measures my total body fat of total body water, um, muscle, as well as bone. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. And once again, remember always stay safe and blessed. See you next time. Bye. Good morning, everyone. I just want to say that today is starting off a beautiful day and I just had to show you um, just how loose my clothing are. Let me show you. This is my uniform top and it's very very loose now and my pants are also very loose all of these clothes were extremely tight on me uh, last week and a week before last so things are actually happening and things are moving right along for me so i'm very happy so what i'm going to do is go downstairs i'm going to get my um meals prepared that i'm going to take to work today and i'll see you in a little bit Okay, everyone, here's some still pictures. This is from my initial weigh-in in week one. And here's a side view of that same initial weigh-in. You can see I have quite a ways to go here. This is a picture from week three. You can see my waist trimmed down some, as well as a side view of week three. Now, after I remain in nutritional ketosis for one week, you can see in week four, my waist trimmed down dramatically. Here in week five, I'm still in nutritional ketosis. The waist is trimming down. Here's a side view as well. I pulled my shirt back so you can see better. Then I decided to change into a white shirt because maybe you can see that a little bit better on camera. And my waist has trimmed down. And here is the side view of week five as well. Now, here's my weight of 231.8 after I had gained 5.6 pounds. Then, I um, regained some speed and in week four I lost weight and I was 227.4 pounds which was a great job and now in week five this is going to be my second week in nutritional ketosis my weigh-in was 223.2 pounds without any exercise <laughs>